There's Khan, Sundance, Tribeca. And we are proud to welcome the Hoboken International Film Festival. The Hoboken International Film Festival. Here. Hoboken yeah. International yeah. Film yeah. Festival yeah. kicks off on CBS2, a proud sponsor. We are going to show the edgiest, hottest movies. It seemed like a good place to go. I think we can get some tickets for Charles Durning. I hope so. This is my third time to come to the festival. We're very lucky, very fortunate to do what we do. I feel like I'm at a real estate seminar. Amazing experience at the Hoboken International Film Festival. I can't wait to hear and read about and witness what a great success this will turn out to be. There are no small roles, only small vinegar. I would say that this is very good for Orange County and it should be, and everyone should realize the economic potential of it. The economic viability of an event and a, a production like this just um, shows throughout the city and, and, and the county as a whole. Got a lot of neat new things happening tonight. It's absolutely beautiful. The setup is amazing. Very excited to be here today. So many big companies and big people have gotten behind us that is putting us right now in the top 10 biggest film festival in the world. You're going to be uh, seeing some of your films here. Oh, that's good. I didn't know that, but then I'd like to see some of them myself. The international films, all of the independent films, give actors such a wonderful chance to play different parts that we really want to, and to expand and grow, and it's just a great thing. What I really wanted to do was start a real, true film festival. It's definitely right up there with Sundance and Tribeca and um, all these film festivals around the world. We're expecting over 15,000 spectators to flock to the Paramount this year, in addition to Gilbert. The festival will be a star-studded event with a celebrity jury to judge this year's entries and dozens of Academy Award and Emmy Award winners and nominees in attendance. The festival will start with an awards ceremony followed by a full week of movie screenings. Now it's the second year for the festival to be in Middletown after Hurricane Sandy damaged the original venue in New Jersey. Renowned actors are expected to attend, including Eric Roberts, who tells us why this festival is needed. The reason you know, that we have them is to, is to bring, is to bring in new you know, filmmakers to light to the public. And uh, that's, that's a wonderful thing to have. The people from Middletown and Orange County are so excited about the arts and specifically with movies. I'm telling you, you got a great guy here in, in, in Ken Novello, an incredible writer. I mean, I am amazed about it. And again, I want to thank Chairman Del Vecchio. He is a man you can see in, in the movies he's involved with, in the friends he has, and in his choosing Middletown. He has a great mind and he also has a big heart. So we, you got a new movie out, right? We do, we do. It's called Rock Story, and it premieres tonight at the Hoboken International Film Festival. Which is where, by the way? Believe it or not, it's not where you think it, it is. It moved from Hoboken last year to Middletown, and Middletown so embraced it um, that it stayed. So it's kind of weird because they were all, everyone was very happy at Hoboken, but right. now Middletown is so extraordinary in the way they've opened their hearts. The Hoboken International Film Festival kicked off last night and will run through Thursday. It features an array of feature films, short films, documentaries, and television pilots. Joining us this morning is the executive director of the film festival, Kenneth Del Vecchio, and with Ken is arguably one of the most recognized actors on the big screen and small, Charles Durning. Thank you for being here today, you. both of you gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> so I this is it. part of the Hoboken Film <laughs> Festival? Well, it is. So there's a lot of films. Which is not in Hoboken, by the way. No. Oh, it's known. I got so excited, I thought maybe Frank Sinatra would be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually no, in Middletown. It's up in Middletown. So if anybody's up, coming up to Middletown on Thursday, I would love to meet them. They have a fabulous theater. Camera Action Hollywood crews are once again filming in Orange County. Hollywood is coming to the Hudson Valley. Middletown and the surrounding towns are being transformed into 1979 Tehran for the new film, The Price of Freedom. Ayatollahs understand only one thing, raw, untamed, brutal power. If you live by their roots, you will become like them. That is the only way out of this madness. 
I will bomb every oil field from Abadan to Bandar Abbas, every airport, every government building. I can't lay in my own casket. Every moment getting closer to being buried alive. Open up the other coffins. Don't you dare! Stay back, woman. Have you no respect? Have you no religion? You and Sarah can sit by and deny what is happening, but I cannot. This is no longer a country for decent human beings, but for killers and fanatics. The film is based on the book and life story of Manhattan dentist and Iranian national Mark Ben Hurry. The Price of Freedom is the fifth and highest budget movie production that's ever been brought to the Hudson Valley, and they're using the Paramount Theater as its backdrop. I cannot wait to see Price for Freedom. What's the what's Thank the you. estimated um, release date? I mean, is there a month? Or you, you know, is it? Uh, May 29th. Ah, supposed got, to be. Not only is there a month, there's a day. Yeah, <laughs> May 29th in Hoboken Film Festival and is produced by Ken Del Vecchio. Ken Del Vecchio, I know and, him very well. <laughs> the first thing we're going to start with is the filmmaker's reception, which is the opening of the festival. We have a number of the filmmakers here today that are officially selected filmmakers. And we owe something to them because without their movies, the festival can't work. And if anybody would like to talk to them later, I know a whole congregation of them are sitting over here. When Judge Del Vecchio came in and I was expecting something that I didn't see. And what I did find was a very down-to-earth guy, very knowledgeable guy, a guy very committed to the film festival, but also very committed um, based on his observations of the Paramount Theater. I was I was actually supposed to be here earlier tonight, uh, but uh, I had some stuff I couldn't avoid. I got a higher paid job. <laughs> uh, thank you, Filmmakers Festival. There's some great product out for us all. Thank you, Hope Walker. Thank you. And I thank everybody for their support. Are you excited for the ceremony tonight? Oh, very much. It was a rousing success. We're just happy to be a part of it, to be honest with you. And hopefully we'll be back next year. And I'm so happy. Uh, to be a part of uh, the Hoboken International Absolutely. Film Festival, and this is only the beginning. The Hobo will stop here. I want to be here forever with Hoboken International Film Festival. That's okay. Uh, Hoboken International Film Festival, action!